The next thing to consider is your stage presence. And by that, I mean who's actually present on your stage. Who are we placing on the stage for people to see? Who we put on that stage tells people who has a voice here and who is celebrated. Um, who we put on the stage gives a lasting impression of who we are and it gives a lasting impression of who we're trying to attract. So if we're a church that's trying to um, target young families and everybody on the stage is over the age of 60, there's a gap there. Or if we're a church that wants to be multicultural, but everybody on the stage is monocultural, there's a gap there. So we want to be intelligently and deliberately thinking about who we're putting on that stage, who people see, because this tells you who has a voice here, tells us who we're celebrating. And if you're a church that's targeting young families, they should see young families on the stage. If you're a church um, that wants to be multicultural, they should see multicultural on that stage.